Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is lovely and it is self-care Sunday. So I'm going to actually use the products from the Fresh and Flowers box that I just uploaded the other day and we're going to go through it all and try it out. It is wash day. My hair is a little bit greasy. Uh, I'm in my pyjamas. Hi. And uh, yeah, I just want to have a nice pamper, a nice chill. I've got a jug of water. I've actually got the towel to hand to put over my lap because I know what you know what I'm like I get it everywhere face cloth it's already I'm going to show you my little bath cocktail that I have with the daisy bubble bar and yeah it's just going to be a nice chill pamper so if you have this box let's just do it together so the first thing I'm going to do is is I'm going to give my face a little wash uh with this cleanser this is the where have I put the thing great start Sarah put it is it in here? I'll put it in the bin. Oh, I put it in the bin. Great job there, Sarah. So this cleanser is called Roll in the Nettles Cleanser. And I'm gonna, I'm quite excited to try this. It's like I was saying in the uh, unboxing, it is a heavy chunk of a cleanser. I thought there was like a little bit of mold on there, but no, I think it's face mask. I was getting a bit concerned there. I was like, oh God. So I've already broken a bit off. And like the instruction says, you're going to pinch a bit off. I think this side will do. It's a nice knob of cleanser. That is the technical term. And I've got my jug of water here. I've got my little Superman curl going on. And we're going to mix a little bit of water with this. And we're going to turn it into a paste. So literally add your water and turn it on, turn it on, mix it into that piece. Where is my mirror? Why am I so unprepared today? Here we go, lovely. I've got my mirror right here. Mix in. It smells really herbal. It smells literally like you're outdoors, walking down a country lane. There's some soil. There's obviously nettles trying to sting you. Uh, the scrub feels similar to, I would say like angels. But then also it's giving me like, like the, the, the way it's like applying Muru Muru on the wall. Oh God, I've, oh. And of course the one time I do have the towel and I've not put it on properly for God's sake. Right, put it on like this. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water to make it a little bit more, have a bit more slip. I, I would definitely recommend always doing a cleanser uh over the bathroom sink and not at your computer desk because it will get in your carpets unless you've got a carpet in your bathroom that's very retro yeah it's got a very gentle scrub like i say almost reminiscent of mirror mirror on the wall a leap of faith very very gentle i'm just going to give my hands a little wash and pick up these little lumps like I say, really nice. It doesn't feel too abrasive. I think when you think of nettles, you think, I'm gonna get stung. Um, but nettles are nice and gentle. And I love nettle cheese. I absolutely love nettle cheese. Yeah, it feels lovely. And whilst my face mask is on, I've got some more questions. So I asked you guys, um, any, you can ask me anything about Lush. My face feels smooth. It doesn't feel like over the top moisturized, but it doesn't feel stripped. I think the scrub is very gentle. So if you have sensitive skin, you should be absolutely fine with that. As you know, I like a scrub. I'm just having a look at my nose. I haven't been very good at keeping up on my skincare. So it hasn't, buffed off loads of dry skin but then I also don't know if that's just leftover product so let's get a question up before I put my face mask on okay so I'm just gonna ask answer a question straight away I've just had a sneezing fit uh, so Beardy Llama says what ingredient do you want to see uh, Lush use more of I think violet leaf I really love violet um obviously you've got Dadio you've got uh, violet cream 
conditioner to go with that tranquil massage bar and then you've also got curbside violet perfume and v perfume as well but in terms of like the bath range oh you've got bb seaweed but you can't really smell the violet now in terms of like the bath range i miss ultraviolet oh rainbows rainbows and waterfall soaps is, is ultraviolet scent but i mean i'm talking about core range i love that violet cream bubble bar Visually, it was stunning, that purple and yellow with the with the luster all over it, but the smell as well, and I think it's such a, a nostalgic scent, especially for, like, the UK with, like, Palmer Violet Sweets. So, for me, definitely Violet Leaf. I would love to see that um, back. Let's get the face mask on the go. So, just a little update. Once my skin is it's kind of, like, drying down, it does feel a little bit tighter. Um, but maybe that's just because I've not been keeping up with my regime that I normally do. I've got a nice little breakout forming. Oh, I've got breakouts everywhere. Breakouts everywhere. So this is the Spring Awakening Face Mask. It's kind of separated a little bit, but that's alright. I'm going to pour that in there. This has got loads of uh, garlic in here. and So I'm hoping that the garlic... Ooh, this feels lovely. It will help with my breakouts. So I'm just gonna pop this on. And whilst I'm popping it on, we will get another question. So Mrs. Jam Beater has asked, what's your least favorite scent? So if we're talking about all year round range, um, I would say one of my least favorite scents um, is gonna be rose jam. I can appreciate that it's like really pretty, but I don't like rose overall as a scent. And I think it's more because maybe rose jam has a lot of geranium in it. And whilst I love geranium as a flower, it is quite a strong scent. And I think it kind of overpowers it. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of rose jam. If we're talking about perfumes, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not the only one who thinks this. Load of goat horn. Load of goat horn uh, perfume is seaweed absolute. Uh, so it's very reminiscent of being down the seaside, all that salty seaweed. Um, it's very fishy and strong, um, which I live near the coast. Uh, so on those days where it's like that salty seaweed kind of comes through, yeah, okay, yeah, it is nostalgic, but it's not something that I want to wear. Because your Lord of Gold Horn also has, like, a bit of a smokiness. So if you think of, kind of, being on the beach, there's loads of salt and that kind of fishy, seaweed sort of a smell. But it also has, like, a smokiness to it. Uh, as if, like, someone's got, it like, a little bonfire on the go down there. And I do know... Uh, that some people do really enjoy Lord of Gold Horn and I have spoken to someone who loves mixing or layering Lord of Go I keep saying it in a really weird way but Lord of Gold Horn uh, Lord of Gold Horn uh, fragrance with vanillary so what they do is they spray their Lord of Gold Horn perfume on and they like they break down the top notes and then they spray on their vanillary and what it kind of brings to them is taking a stroll on an evening um again that salty crisp sea air a little bit of that kind of seaweedy scent going through but someone's got that bonfire on the beach and they're toasting marshmallows so yeah those aren't my favorite feel uh favorite scents really it's more lord of Gordon. i can kind of get away with with rose jam i also i'm not a big fan of um prince charming shower gel again it's the geranium. I just don't see the hype, but I know it's a big favourite for a lot of people. So a little, a bit, bit of update on the face mask. This is it. It felt gorgeous applying it. Um, it's not over the top garlicky because I know a lot. Like I was saying in the unboxing, a lot of people aren't a big fan of Cosmetic Warrior because of the garlic. This I'm having a look in the, the viewfinder. Um, this feels lovely it applies beautifully it's kind of almost a little bit moussey and whipped and it is just a gorgeous face mask so i'm very excited to see what it's like it feels lovely and cooling on the skin and it was just a, a pleasure to put on and might say your name wrong tesh's wife or tesh's wife has asked will the new scrub textures relapse the old ones toil and trouble specifically i don't know i i know a lot of people love that kind of gloop 
crispy loose sort of a texture i'm like in the middle i love a paste you guys know i love a paste um but i also sometimes wish that like the paste ones were a little tiny bit looser i don't know if they are um i don't think they will change uh the formula that they've already made um maybe in the future you never know i'm not saying that they will but you never know they might make variations of it um who knows but the best thing to do is to get onto discord i'll leave a link down below and you know shout it out there shout it out and say like i would love this product you can actually i'm hoping that it's still going to be live and i will put a link again down below but if you are a lushy uh, the lush community team are asking people to kind of have a little think about what their favorite scent is and put it down on the google form for it to be turned into a shower gel or a shower jelly there's five options to write down your list um, and fingers crossed it makes it so i chose um hmm, what did i choose toil and trouble that's what made me think of it toil and trouble is a shower gel uh rentless uh as a shower gel devil's nightcap as a shower gel and then I also said gingerbread sparkle jar as a scent, as a shower gel. I'm not a big shower jelly user, that's why I would never say shower jelly. And then, um, what, what, what else did I say? Oh yes, the Hanamai face mask from the Hanamai box from last, um, I think it was, I think it was March or April times box. I think it was, was it April? Yeah, April's box. I can't remember from last year which was all about like japanese cherry blossom and sakura um and it has the scent family hot cross buns it's its own scent family and if you ever tried that face mask it is beautiful it should be in more things i'm surprised they didn't bring out that scent family for this easter uh maybe in hot cross bunny uh bubble bar but like as a lip scrub or a lip balm um a body lotion but then you've got sticky dates haven't you but i would love that hot cross bun scent in a shower gel oh so good sadie moon has asked do you like honey i wash the kids yes i love honey i wash the kids it smells so good i prefer it in the body spray format and the shampoo and then shoot for the stars i feel like it's and the golden egg shower gel i prefer it's more true to form scent the honey i wash the kids shower gel has a lot of botanicals in it and um, so it's that kind of kind of caramel orange citrus floral honey i wash the kids whereas like the shoot for the stars the honey i wash the kids spray the shampoo bar is more true to that and the golden egg shower gel is more true to the honey i wash the kids scent family when you add the botanicals in which have all these amazing benefits for the skin just slightly changes just slightly changes the scent um oh melody melody's asked a mean one she said top five lush products top five hated products okay so i would say my top five products scrubby uh super milk uh veganese um ooh, what bath bomb do i always gravitate towards i'm gonna say the lakes i love that bath bomb and then i would say maybe a perfume i'm just gonna say perfume because i love lush perfume so right now devil's nightcap perfume oh my god it's so good like if you've not tried devil's nightcap it's got all this oak moss in it so it's very green and damp and earthy kind of like walking through like a very kind of damp woodland area but then when that top note burns off oh my god it's so incensey and if you are around my age back in the day especially with newcastle do you know what it smells like newcastle watches it smells like katmandu it smells like katmandu golf shop <laughs> so like naga champ like super incensey when it burns off you feel so good when you wear it so it's my, my new favorite perfume so i would say devil's night cap is the last one top five hated products i don't hate anything in particular um i just don't use things or like or gravitate towards them so i would say um jelly bombs are not for me uh just i, I like the way that they make the water feel but they are a little bit messy so I, I don't like things that are too messy um i would say anything like acma marina 
is not for me. It's, it's milky bath scented, but it has that seaweed sort of a scent to it as well, which is not for me. What else? What else? It's hard. Scanning through my mind, scanning through my mind. I'm literally going through everything. I would say maybe something like, um, I've got it. I like it, but I don't love it, if that makes sense. And that's shaved ice. They've slightly tweaked it now, so it's not as dark, but it's just too thick. And I hate the fact that I've got to keep sluicing all the time. Even when I use a thin layer, bring back defluff, in my opinion, or five o'clock whistle. And then, oh, this is really hard. Uh, anything rose jam scented, I'm just not gonna use it. I'm gonna say like, Catastrophe Cosmetic Face Mask. It's too, and, and, and Rosie's Cheeks, I'm gonna put them two together. Too absorbent, too absorbent for me. It's very, uh, for my dry, crusty ass skin. Uh, so I don't hate them, I just don't love them. Does that make sense? Anyway, I am gonna go downstairs now, I'm gonna take you with me, and we are going to make the, let me move this out of the way, the hair treatment. So we've got the mask and we've got these bits here. So let's go downstairs and we're gonna make them. Come with me. Okay, so the kettle is on. It's probably gonna be really loud. I'm gonna move us whilst that's doing that. Come with me. Come with me. Will you see me on these? Probably. <laughs> Look at the state of here. Oh, it's so messy. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll put it this way, because it's probably not as messy. And she says, with mess everywhere. So, what does the instructions say? So these are the instructions. Pause if you want it. So I, okay, we need a cup. We need a cup and I didn't get a cup. Ah, okay. Cup, cup, cup. Perfect. Cup found. Chaos ensues. Chaos. Right. Chopping board. Knife. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add your jelly leaf to a cup, fill halfway with boiling water and stir for 30 seconds to help it melt. So here is the jelly leaf, which smells incredible. Pop that in there. We've got a little whisk thing. Whisk. And we are going to fill halfway and pouring the hot water directly onto the leaf. So it's about halfway. <gasps> it's already melting. Nice one. Of course, I'd pick the one time when uh, the dishwasher is still doing its thing. Now, let that do its thing for 30 seconds. Add your herbs and steep for around three minutes. So we've got our very dry herbs. I'm gonna just bend them so that they fit in, like so. So if you didn't know, Mark Constantine, the founder, he is a trichologist, which is all about hair care. Um, so he knows what he's talking about when it comes to like these herbal kind of treatments. So we're gonna leave that set for three minutes. So at 10.53, we're gonna take this off. Then we've got the aloe vera. And it says, cut the aloe vera in half, lengthways, scrape out the gel and mix with the rest. So we'll move this over here. So it's these lengthways. I'm gonna do it this way. <gasps> that was so satisfying. Oh my god. So if you oh, there's a dishwasher I've finished. And then you can see all that lovely aloe vera gel. So I'm just gonna give that a little. That was, oh, let's have a smell. This smells so good. Right. Cut aloe vera in half as I scrape out the gel. Okay, so we'll do this one first. Um, I might do it like that. See if I can flatten it out yet. There is 
one. A bit of aloe vera. Oops. Put the pin. Open it up. And we're going to scrape out the rest. Oh, God, it's going to be wild. Look at that. It's so stringy. And then you're left with this really lovely stringy texture, which is obviously great for burns, but fantastic because it's got like lots of humectant properties as well. I'm gonna pop them in the little compost bin just here. There we go. Okay, now let's take out these hood. Oh, and it's 10.53, yay! Take out these herbs. Um, let me have a think. I'm just going to pop them on here. So, so far, this is what it looks like. Looks, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. I'm just going to pop them in the bin. That thyme smells like a lovely Sunday dinner. <laughs> and then, does that say you have to let it cool or anything? Right, okay, no, just, I'm just gonna scoop it in. So, oh, and then let's just watch it slide in. Like that. We'll give it a little mix around. Whoa, whoa, it's like, it's like thick. Weird. It's now gone because of the carrageen and leaf. It's kind of got like a bit of viscosity to it. Well, that's cool. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the bathroom and we're gonna run a lovely floral springtime bath. I won't be able to show you the hair mask on, but I will tell you all about it and how it feels because right now it's really hot and I absolutely do not want to put on really hot. And also this is like, getting really dry, so see you in a second when we're running the bath. Just remembered, I need to wash my face. So, put the cap on. And we'll see how it feels when it comes off. Sometimes it is just easier to take, take it off with a flannel. But don't eat it though. It does not taste nice. Got it everywhere. So glad I'm gonna have this nice bath. Okay, let's get my face a little dry. Maybe you can come back. Oh, well, that feels lovely. That feels so good. Oh yeah, that's lovely. I'm still finding stuff in my face, but no, that, that feels, skin feels soft. I think it looks nice and smooth. Yeah, I really like this, this is good. Let's run the bath. It's a good thing that I'm filming directly in front of a bright window. Great lighting. Right, I'm gonna go get the bubble bar. Okay, so this is the bubble bar. It smells a lot like chamomile. It's very, like a light green floral. It smells like spring, essentially. This is it here. And you've got a sheer butter middle here as well. So the best way to do it is just, I think, is to either snap and crumble into an empty bath or snap and crumble under running water. I don't hold the bar underneath the running water because my tap can get like really hot. Ah, I knew it was going to, I was asked, I was kind of wondering in my video, my unboxing videos, how deep the sheer butter was going to be. It's, it's about, you know, about a centimeter or two, so that's pretty good. Dump that in there. This is quite a firm bubble bar. This is a pretty one. They should bring this out for a Mother's Day, definitely. And I'm just gonna let this do its thing. I'll get some close-up footage of the bubble bar, bubble barring whilst it's doing its thing. And somewhere in there is the melt. So 
yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wait till it's finished running and then I'm gonna tell you all about how my bath was. So I'll see you in a bit, okay? Bye. Okay, I am out of the shower, my hair is crazy it, it is so dying for a haircut um so i used the like hair treatment so first of all i used rehab salt because my hair felt quite greasy and heavy so i wanted something to really deeply cleanse my hair and my scalp so i've just got them big chunks of coarse sea salt in there but then it's got things like uh, lots of fruit juices like pineapple kiwi and um, so it's going to really break down the excess oil and make it shiny so scrub my hair and I left it just to sit for like a minute or two because the mint is nice and tingly on the scalp as well. It's still a bit wet my hair. And then I then rinsed it out and then I, I poured because it was enough. I know you're supposed to do your ends but I just poured it all over. I got it on, on my roots, I got it on my ends and I just let it sit for a few minutes and then I rinsed it out. Now my hair was feeling crazy squeaky clean like I, I can't not have conditioner on so then I put some power conditioner on let that sit for a couple minutes rinsed it out there was little strands of that grass which was a little bit annoying hopefully there's none in my hair um now I should have rinsed it out and then uh, I finished off with some super milk so my hair does look really shiny and um Ever since I've had my shag cut in, which is now grown out, I'm going to have to get it recut in. Um, my hair is like super curly, like super, super curly. I partially blue dry my hair upside down to give it a bit more lift and a bit more volume. I feel like it looks a bit mental though. It's so long. I'm going to have to get it cut a bit. Now I'm going to put on some face stuff because my face is just feeling a little bit dry just a little bit dry obviously that the, i think the products in this box was beautiful or maybe a little bit too absorbent for my skin so i've just got this monu skin rosewood reviving mist it's not too rosy smelling revive me please it's almost finished and then i'm going to pop on some smuggler soul uh multi-purpose cream because i just want something a little bit more balmy a little bit more rich for me i'm just gonna pop that on i like to put it on when the skin's a little bit tacky so that it kind of traps that layer of moisture onto the skin i forgot to put a body lotion on so i'll pop a little bit on my elbows just because my elbows are now oh, i don't know if it's just because i'm getting a bit older but oh, i feel like i'm getting like crusty elbows and i don't like that and I know people watch these videos and go, wow, she is so rough with her face, but I promise I'm not being rough. And I'm just going to get some on my elbows. Alex always jokes about how crusty my elbows are. There we go. Oh, I feel like a new woman. I am smooth. My skin is, I'm definitely dehydrated because I've got flakes of skin everywhere. So even though it had been buffed, face masked, wiped with a flannel as well uh, there was still flakes on my skin and i think that's just purely because my skin is dehydrated and i have not been keeping up with my skincare regimen that i normally do um but i would love to know that's everything if you got this box did you try it along with me or have you already used it what your thoughts are on it what's your favorite products and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching i am using some new editing software so if things look a little bit different you know just let me know if there's any glitches let me know i need to know down below um just because i'm trialing out uh, some different editing software just to see if i can make some more kind of uh more fun edits within these videos so yes um yeah uh, ooh, 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 ooh. you can give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it <laughs> I've got such a bad memory. And of course you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to a 4,000 subscribers. Once we hit 4,000, I will be doing a fantastic giveaway. Uh, you can follow me on social media. Uh, ding, ding, ding. And of course, YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. But I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.